Welcome to my yep.so review. This software is going to allow you to build a landing page in two minutes using AI powered no code landing page builder that will allow you to convert visitors to paying customers. If you'd like to follow along with me, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, you can actually follow along step by step. Not only is this going to be a review, but also a tutorial and demo so you can see how it works so you can get up and running very quickly. If you've ever had any problems with landing pages and tech headaches and so on and so forth, this really might help you out. Let's begin. First thing and foremost, what you want to do is name your idea. So I've noticed that most of these are going to be for actually creating a product, but you can say do a lead magnet and just delete a lot of the aspects of your specific landing page. But just as an example, let's just say we have a product that we're going to sell. Allow me to put my idea right here. All right, so we have the AI content multiplier. Let's create our page. All right, and this is the magic content generator. So as you can see, it says to add content manually, click outside the magic content generator box. However, I'm gonna go through and just talk about this and utilize this. So we have our product name, or once again, this is gonna be the AI content multiplier. Who is the target audience for your product? Let's say digital marketers, and describe your product in as much detail as possible. So give me one second. I'm gonna go through and just kind of talk about this so I don't take up a lot of time. All right, so the AI content multiplier allows digital marketers to create one fine-tuned piece of content and then have it automatically sent to every popular, should be every, so ever, every popular social media platform, saving time and generating significantly more traffic. Pretty cool, right? So let's click on create content. There's gonna be a little bit loading here and I, <laughs> I always find this super funny. So it's gonna take around 30 seconds, but once it's done, I will get back to you and we'll see what we have. All right, so here we are. And as we go through, it's gonna kind of give you some tips, but I will kind of go from top to bottom here. We have effortlessly amplify your content across all platforms. The AI content multiplier enables digital marketers to create one high quality post and distribute it seamlessly across every major social media platform, saving time and boosting traffic. Then we put social proof here in case you wanna use that. Now, if you didn't wanna use that, a lot of this you can just go in and delete, okay? So we have where they can actually try it now if in case they wanna do that, kind of like having a demo there, right? That's where we can get the email. There's gonna be some Im images here. We have how it works. So Let's actually read this just to make sure. The AI content multiplier takes a single piece of content and seamlessly distributes it, okay, with minimal effort. Let's see, save hours of manual work by letting the AI handle the distribution. Focus on creating high quality content while our AI takes care of sharing it far and wide. Then once again, we have boosted traffic and engagement. And of course we have pricing as well. So you might be wondering, well, how do I edit a lot of this? You'll notice it is very different from a drag and drop editor, but let's just say we wanted to edit it. Let's say the starter content plan is just going to be $19.99 per month and so on and so forth. If we wanted to add a feature here, we can certainly do that add feature and so on and so forth. I'm gonna click on enter and there it is. If we wanted to delete that, we can do that. And for example, if you don't wanna have the enterprise content pricing plan, you can just delete that. You can obviously add another, like just what we had there and delete. So as you can see here, there's a lot gonna be a lot of sections where it's pretty much already done for you. That is one thing I like about it is that as you go through, it has all the sections for you. And if you don't wanna utilize any of these, you can just go and remove it. So this right here looks pretty good. This is exactly what it does. This is going to be a like, social proof thing in case you wanted to use that. An email, of course. But let's say we didn't wanna add any images or if we wanted to change this, we can go right here, click on it. What you can do is generate with AI using a prompt. You can embed a YouTube video. You can embed a Vimeo video. You can also just clear the image if you don't wanna use that. And as you can see, the image is going to be cleared there and that spot's just not gonna be there. Same thing with everything else. If there are any specific sections you don't wanna add, maybe if you're giving away a lead magnet, obviously you're probably not gonna to wanna to have pricing there, but maybe frequently asked questions. What you do is you just delete it and then you can go here, delete, and then you can go delete here. So when I go to preview it, although it shows the FAQ section heading kind of like being, you know, kind of hidden or invisible, it's not actually going to show when we load it up. So, and all right, so here we are effortlessly amplify our content across all platforms. We have how it works. We kept a lot of those things. You also notice that since there was no testimonial actually added in there, we didn't need to change that since there's nothing there. Okay. And we have pricing and you'll notice there was going to be that FAQ section we completely removed. It's now gone. So once again, very cool. This is just going to be like a founder letter, dear, so on and so forth. I think it is pretty nifty how you can actually go in and just get something done for you AI. I will have to say that a lot of it is going to be oh so similar. Like we have the same layout here. However, you can change the layout a bit. Let me go back. And if we want to change it around a little bit more, what we can do is click on the gear right here. 
All right, and here's gonna be some of the settings that we can utilize. We have the AI content multiplier along with some of the colors. We have our vanity slash page slug URL, logos, uh, menus in case you want to publish to a custom domain for having a pro account, some shadows, corner stuff. If you wanted to upload it to say, or just paste it on a social media platform where you're gonna have a specific custom image, you can change around the layout options in terms of plain sections or boxes. We have the hero sign up where obviously we're going to want to have that in case we want to capture emails. We have the CTA with scroll redirect and you can go to Gumroad if you need. So if you want to do a redirect, you can certainly do that. Then we have send signups too. So something I will say about this, I think it would be great if they had a few more integrations. You can do Airtable, ConvertKit, Google Sheets, and Zapier is gonna be the one that allows you to integrate with many other platforms in order to kind of hook them up. But it would be nice to see like, you know, Aweber, GetResponse, Constant Contact, some of the bigger email marketing platforms that, you know, a lot of people utilize. If you're not gonna be collecting emails, then it's not gonna be as big of a deal, but I think that is something that could be improved, you know, probably in the uh, future as well. Here we're gonna have our managed sections and so on and so forth so as you can see we have footer letter sign up FAQ pricing features and hero and let's say like if you were going to be doing just say a uh, like a cheat sheet giveaway or a lead magnet and maybe you don't want that other one on the bottom this is going to be the sign up form down at the bottom so that means you wouldn't have two of them but these are going to be the sections that you're pretty much going to be using when it comes to yep so and their landing pages uh, we have some additional elements in case you're into that html mumbo jumbo surveys conversation starters and a few other things in case you're interested, we have some donations, footer links, duplicating the page, favicons, custom CSS, and a few other things as you can see. And that's going to be the majority of the settings when it comes to using Yep So for their landing pages. Let's look at it one more time. I'm just going to go to publish and do view draft. And for this one, it just simply removed like the email box where in case you just want someone to try it now or they could always upgrade from there. But that's going to be what it looks like if someone is going to be trying a specific item. We have our main call to action right there. We have how it works with some of the copy that generated from AI along with some pictures. You could obviously change those around if needed. We have our pricing plans and this I didn't get to edit around, but it will just clean it up a little bit more. Let's say we don't need this section. We can just delete. And when we go back, we can go to publish, view page. And if we scroll down here, you're gonna notice that it's going to be gone there. What we can do is pretty much either just delete it or go to that specific section and undo it so it's not gonna be shown. So capping off this yep.so review when it comes to creating landing pages, overall, it's good that you can always test them out to sign up and see how they work. Very similar to how I showed you here. If you are gonna be going with upgrading, you're looking at $29 per month. With this, you do get the custom domains and unlimited landing pages, hosting visitors, and so on and so forth, which is always a good thing. Of course, if you're going for the agency, you can go with that. It's going to be 97 a month. Where I think Yep.so thrives is the ability where if you are like a technophobe, you are very, you have a lot of trouble when it comes to creating landing pages or at least ones that are going to be successful. This literally just allows you to enter in some text to create a landing page for something specific that you'd like to create. And it does it very quickly. I think it says on the front page, like we will have your landing page created and it shows like two or three minutes compared to where you are at the certain time if it wasn't for me like talking and typing that pretty much would have been up in the same amount of time from there it just comes down to editing do we want to change around the text or if we don't want a section we can either turn it off or delete the content in it this is perfect for newbies for beginners or anyone who's having trouble when it comes to creating landing pages and wants to remove just all the headache from it i also will say in terms of the pros and cons i talked about a lot of the things that i do like definitely when it comes to what could use improvement is the ability to have more email integrations as we talked about previously there was convert kit there was like google sheets there was one more and then there was zapier so you can use zapier in case you want to link that to the autoresponder that you have i just feel like they could have certainly more in the future and i hope they do because i know a lot of people use some of those popular email marketing platforms. Nevertheless, great for newbies, especially if you have a lot of tech problems in terms of headaches, trying to get your landing pages up and running. As long as you can feed yep.so a great prompt in terms of what you have and giving it exactly the information that it needs, I think you're gonna have a fun time when it comes to very quickly and easily creating your landing pages with AI. If you would like to test this out, I will leave my link down below in the description where you can do exactly what I did just to see how it's gonna work for you. And of course, the pricing has been right here in front of you. So if you do wanna upgrade going from hobby to pro or pro plus an agency, you can see the features and perks that come along with each. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching my yep.so review and tutorial and I will see you in my next video.